Okay guys, this is a Husqvarna MZ54 with the Kawasaki 24 horse engine. I just bought this from Lowe's maybe three or four days ago. So uh, after reviewing this lawnmower, I spent a lot of time researching what models would work best for me. I do uh, obviously my own home grass, but I also do uh, commercial grade lawn mowing. Uh, this would be the one of the nicer models that, or the nicest model that you could even pick up from Lowe's. So what's the difference from a Lowe's model Husqvarna versus a independent lawn care dealer model so here's what i found so whenever i was buying this lawnmower i had uh you know obviously did my research and i've come to some conclusions so after checking this machine out i noticed some discrepancies on how it was put together these come in on a crate not fully assembled they come in on a crate and the the seats not attached and uh, the roller protection system needs to be put in place so a couple things that even even says in the manual if you care to read it uh is to go and inspect the machine for loose bolts so that was one of the things i did right when i first got home um i had it I had it put on the trailer as soon as I had it home while it was still on the trailer I went through and started checking my hydraulic transmission and I checked my engine oil and oil cap so some of the things I found was a the hydraulic transmission fluid which is a 20w50 grade oil was low the engine oil was low it was right on the ad line uh another thing i noticed was the steering piston right here was pushed out and had every bit of about half an inch of play and this one right here was tighter um and i also noticed that this deck bolt right here for the the height of your blade was off and the uh, anti-scalp rollers were all the way up preventing it to anti-scalp so I went through and thoroughly checked the machine out every bolt every connection every fluid and put a wrench on everything that I thought needed to be turned or tightened. Um, these do come in backwards, so I flipped that around. Uh, pretty easy to do, you just gotta, you know, finagle it in a way to get it there. Other than that, this machine is uh, very superior. To, I mean, look what it did to my, my yard is very nice over there i have a a problem with scalping because the has a grade runoff through there but didn't scalp none um this machine comes with you know the rub guards for the blade or for the cutting deck and the the turf wheels on it they don't they don't pull up any turf when you turn these slick turning wheels right here are really nice the uh the decking system is really nice i preferably keep mine up so whenever i do load it on my trailer it's ready to go and i don't have to bend down here and pick this guy up um all in all this machine is worth every penny i got it for right at 5200 from lowe's and after you know checking everything out and getting everything uh tightened up 
I feel like this machine is going to be a very, very lucrative investment for my business. And uh, looking forward to maintaining my records because, guys, this is this is everything. If you don't maintain your machines, don't get on there on Husqvarna website and call this machine trash when you never even read the manual or you never even attempted to maintain your fluids or check your belts or keep your machine clean. Another thing that I haven't mentioned yet, this guy right here. This is supposed to have a pre-filter on it. I'm sure the, the Husqvarna sent in the packaging crate a pre-filter that went over this and it was discarded. Again, another, you know, hardware and store employee special. Start a job and not finish it. But if you go and do your due diligence on this machine and also add only non-ethanol fuel you will not have any troubles out of this machine i really hope this has helped someone out there that is kind of skeptical about buying from lowe's um again if you do the due diligence yourself you have a machine that is just as equally great as if you bought it from a specific house of Warner dealer um in my opinion if you have any more questions about this machine, please drop them in the comments below and I will do uh, a six month review or, you know, a 20 hour update or right now I'm sitting at 30 minutes. That's what it takes to mow my two acres here. So here we are and what a pretty machine. Thanks, guys. Subscribe, like, favorite, comment.